Hey guys, Taylor here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you already been here, thanks for coming back. So it is that time of the month, you guys. It is time for me to share with you the products that I have been loving for the month of March. If you are new to the channel, at the end of every month, I share with you guys the products that I have been loving. Some of these products are new and some are just rediscoveries from my very own collection. This month, I have a bit of makeup, skincare, body care, and fragrance. So if you are interested in seeing, then please keep on watching. Before we start the video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time I upload a video. And follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Alright y'all, so I'm going to start with makeup. I don't have a lot of products this month because the Sephora sale is coming up and I have not been shopping a lot. So please leave your recommendations down below if there's anything that you want me to try out. Let me know in the comments section. But the first thing that I'm going to start with is today's lip combo. Um, I did use my Sephora collection brown lip liner in the shade molasses this isn't new to my channel i am obsessed with this liner it is one of my most repurchased makeup products but today i wanted to focus more on the lipstick that i used this is from patrick todd this is the silky lip cream i believe that's what it's called this is in the shade she's independent if you're looking for a really nice beigey pinky kind of nude lip try this one out and the thing that i love about this is that it isn't a super light nude because of the undertone it gives you that nude look without being super light on the lips and it does not dry down to a matte finish it is a very creamy kind of lipstick which makes it very very easy to blend out on the lips all you need to do is top this off with a good clear gloss so the next makeup product that I have is from LYS this is the no limits cream bronzer I have this in the shade strength I've talked about this time and time again if you want to purchase one cream bronzer one that is reasonably priced try this one out from lys it literally blends like butter into your skin and i feel like this can go both as like a cream bronzer slash cream contour because it is a little bit cooler on the skin this is one that even if you go in with too much all you need to do is just keep blending or go over top with a sponge and it will remove some of the products still giving you that really nice glowy dewy kind of finish it's absolutely amazing for looking for a good cream bronzer to try out try this one from lys all right you guys so jumping into skincare i only have two products this month the first one that I have is a viral product that I picked up because of TikTok. This is the Anoa Heartleaf 77% Soothing Toner y'all i've been using this for a hot minute but i really wanted to use it for a good minute before i come on here and tell you guys how amazing this product is as you can see i am more than halfway through this bottle and this is a 500 ml bottle so 16.9 fluid ounces y'all when i say this toner is amazing don't get me wrong it's nothing legendary it is like a good basic toner if that makes sense if you want a good day and night toner i feel like this is a great one if you have eczema if you have rosacea if you have sensitive skin try this toner out it is an amazing toner at soothing the skin if you have oily skin or dry skin you'd really love this toner it is a toner that i think is good for all skin types i use this toner morning and nights and it doesn't matter how much of this toner i use it doesn't feel heavy on my skin it doesn't feel like i have a bunch of products on my skin i did not break out from using this toner if anything i feel like um my dry patches on my face or just my dry areas on my face feels a lot calmer as so no i am using tretinoin and this toner really really helps with calming down my skin if it feels irritated at all i have been loving this toner it does not feel like i'm applying water to my skin it feels like a mixture of like water and like a hyaluronic serum that kind of consistency this is now my go-to toner um if you have tried the anua heart leaf toner let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below but i highly 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 recommend this toner if you're looking for like a one and done something to soothe your skin something that you can use morning and night something that you can use during the winter during the summertime this is a good one the next skincare product that i have is from hero 
this is my mighty patches y'all know i love a good pimple patch but for the longest i was not using this pimple patch i decided to try the one from cause rx and i had to go back to my mighty patches just because i feel like with the cause rx patches for a pimple i'd have to use like four maybe five pimple patches to get rid of a pimple whereas the mighty patch i'd need like maybe two patches to get rid of a pimple so even though the cause rx pimple patches are a lot cheaper than the hero cosmetics mighty patch I feel like I was using way more product from the Cosrx, so I decided to go back to my Mighty Patches. Depending on the pimple patch that you use, it can leave a little halo around the pimple, kind of like dry out the spot around the pimple as well. I feel like all pimple patches are going to do that, but with this one, I get rid of that halo a lot quicker than the one from Cosrx. So I feel like the one from Cosrx was drying me out a little bit too much. But if you're looking for a good pimple patch to try out, try this one from Mighty Patch. Okay, you guys, so being that we're talking about skincare, let's talk about skincare for your body i finally got my hands on the notorium body washes and this one i have two that i've been loving the first one is the glow getter multi oil body wash y'all know i'm not new to this i did pick this up a while back at target and i loved it and i am so happy that i can finally go in stores and get this here in canada it is absolutely amazing so this body wash it goes on kind of like an oil but it's a very lightweight kind of oil doesn't feel greasy on the skin and then it lathers up into a foam when you rinse this body wash off you are going to have the most soft hydrated glowy skin it is amazing and it doesn't feel sticky on your body it doesn't feel greasy on your body it lathers nicely it hydrates it gives you a glow your skin feels so soft after using this last month i talked about the body lotion from notorium and y'all if you think the body lotion is amazing after you use the body wash go in with the body lotion this combo will give you the most soft hydrated skin ever i talked about the body lotion last month and as you can see i don't know if y'all can see but i'm down here with this body lotion i have been obsessed with the notorium body care products another body wash that i've been loving this month from notorium this is the brightener so this one is the vitamin c body wash i did not pick up the salicylic acid or the glycolic acid because if i'm being honest i don't feel like my body needs it um i already have other products um with glycolic acid in them if my skin and needs a little bit of help here or there those products i already know and love but i wanted something with vitamin c because i don't have a vitamin c um body any vitamin c body care products and i don't want to overdo it by mixing too much products if you know what i mean so i decided to try this one and y'all it is so good i cannot speak to it being a brightener as yet because i feel like it is too soon i'll let y'all know in another month or so but what i can say about this body wash is that it leaves my skin feeling so soft after about two or three uses of this body wash my skin was feeling a lot softer um even the back of my heel you guys i could feel a difference after using this body wash it is absolutely amazing i will keep using this and then let y'all know in other videos if you have tried the glycolic or the salicylic acid from notorium let me know your thoughts in the comment section but i don't think i need those right now for right now i think these two right here plus the body lotion is all i need and then i'll top up with my other glycolic products but if you haven't tried the notorium body washes go ahead and try the multi-oil and the vitamin c and the body lotion as well it is fragrance free i will have all three linked down below but i just wanted to let y'all know that i got the body washes and i've been loving them all right you guys jumping into hair care i have three products for you guys the first one is from tgin this is the moisture rich sulfate free shampoo one of my favorite lines from tgin is the strengthen and repair line and i recently discovered this moisture rich line i was looking for a shampoo that would not only cleanse my hair but would hydrate my hair and y'all this this is the best shampoo i've used in a really really long time even though it is a very moisturizing shampoo i feel like it has a great lather to it so you'll still get that shampoo feel once you rinse it out your hair will feel so clean but at the same time very very moisturized it does not feel stripped at all i don't think i've ever used a shampoo that's this moisturizing originally i tried the moisture rich conditioner from tgin and that's kind of what led me to try the shampoo 
it feels like I used a deep conditioning mask or something like that after using this conditioner that's how good it is and the shampoo did not disappoint at all if you feel like your hair needs more moisture and you're looking for a good shampoo and conditioner combo try both of these from TGIN they don't disappoint at all they have some really good products and depending on what your hair needs they just might have something for you Hey you guys, so the final hair care product that I have is one that I've used before. I believe I've talked about this on my channel before. Um, Kendra and Stushy put me onto this product. This is from Mizani. This is the 25 Miracle Milk Leave-In Conditioner. I love this product. I think the first time I tried this, I got it in a gift set with like a medium size and a travel size. I finished both of those, but I wasn't able to get this product on Sephora Canada anymore. It's still available on Sephora US, but recently I found it on Amazon at a really good price point and I fell in love with it all over again. This is the jumbo bottle. I use this pretty much like almost every day as like a top up when I'm doing my hair to go to work. If I'm putting my hair in a bun, I just spray this all over my hair just to add moisture back to my hair. I use this product every single day it does not get flaky it does not weigh my hair down it still feels very very lightweight on my hair so if you're looking for a good touch-up product to use during the week that is going to give you a good amount of moisture this one from Mizani is absolutely amazing all right y'all so i'm almost done i have fragrances i have three perfumes and one body mist the first one that i have is the body mist this is from holister this is the sugar and vanilla body mist as you can see i've been obsessed with this this is a good alternative to like warm vanilla sugar from bath and body works or the churosa 62 from sol de janeiro it isn't a dupe but it is in the same family that sugary sweet vanilla it doesn't smell cheap at all this is one that you can overspray not the most long lasting spray but i think this is a great one for like bedtime it layers really well with 62 from sol de janeiro as well so i can use that body lotion or that body oil and then go in with this and i'll still get a little bit of longevity but if you want a good alternative to that 62 from sol de janeiro or you just want something to give you that feel at a cheaper price point this one from hollister is a good one i did get this for like nine dollars there about um i will have it linked down below but if you haven't tried this go ahead and try it out um um, it is really good you guys. I don't see any notes on Fragrantica or anywhere not even from the website The only note that I have is sugar and vanilla and what I can tell you is that you are going to get that sugary sweet vanilla vibe But not overly sweet the next fragrance that I have is one that I recently did a review on, one that I have been enjoying. This is the new Kylie Cosmic Perfume. I'm going to have my review up above so you guys can check it out, but this is a soft, powdery, sweet, everyday kind of scent. I've been really enjoying this one for work. It is a really nice light scent, not offensive. If you are looking for like a good signature scent, something powdery, sweet, something very feminine, this is a great one to try out. And I've been really enjoying this one. Another fragrance that I've been loving, and you'll probably hear me talk about a lot more going into spring and summer, the new Mythior Parfum. I've been obsessed with this. This is strawberries this is peaches this is a juicy take on miss dior but it still has that sophisticated smell about it it still has that miss dior dna it still smells expensive it still smells rich it smells absolutely amazing just a more juicier fruitier touch to miss dior but still giving grown another flanker that i've been really loving and one that you will probably hear a lot more going into spring and summer this is the green stravaganza valentina donna born in roma this one is a fresher take on valentino donna born in roma you still get that dna but it has a tea note in it that I'm obsessed with you guys. Fresh, clean, sweet, just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And I've been really enjoying these. Um, I will talk more about these in other videos, but these are the fragrances that I've been loving for the month of March. Let me know what you've been loving in the comment section down below. As I said before, let me know your recommendations in the comment section as well. This video wasn't super long, but I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.